are the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1 to 2. 2 Timothy is a letter written by the Apostle Paul to Timothy, his young associate in the ministry, while offering him encouragement and guidance. In these verses, Paul is urging Timothy to remain strong in the grace that comes through Jesus Christ. He encourages him to take the teachings he has received and pass them on to trust to the individuals who are capable of teaching others. The importance of always passing on the word of God cannot be overemphasized. We desire that the next generation and the one that comes next shall be equipped for gospel work. We thank God for sustaining our ministry here at Eyes of Africa and here are some updates from this month. The Transform Discipleship participants finished their first block of the program and they went on a week-long break from the 11th to the 17th. The team has resumed and is now making progress in their second block. They will continue studying through the Gospel of Mark in an array of Gospel topics to cover. They will head out for a mission outreach at the end of the block. Bill Clinton reflects on some of the things he is learning. My expectations for the program are to have fun, to be changed spiritually and use more of the time that I have not being idle before I join university. We've been studying through the book of Mark, Mark's Gospel, and we've been going through who Jesus was, why he came and how we should respond to him. For instance, what's been most outstanding is the fact that Jesus was a teacher, he came to preach the Gospel, and our response to him is by believing and trusting in him. Justice Mbivi serves in Praise Chapel in Voi. Here are his ministry updates. My name is Justice Bithi, a former student from JQuart, where I did business IT and currently placed at Praise Chapel Voi. Uh, at Voi, I serve with Sunday School Ministry, where I do teach them uh, occasionally uh, with other Sunday School teachers. I also serve with uh, Youth Ministry. Uh, where we do meet on Saturdays from mainly from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. for Bible study and also on Sundays after service for a recap of the sermon. I also serve as the admin to the church, uh, helping with accounting duties and also with the communication to the church. Okay, from online MTC, um, we are getting exposition on the Gospel of John where we are being confirmed that Jesus indeed is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And also we have had trainings on godly character, uh, big highlights coming from uh, contentment, uh, where we should be contented with everything that we have that God has given to us. From the trainings I'm getting from myself and also uh, daily trainings from the placements, I get to know much of the gospel and how to apply it to my life and also on how to share it to people. We hope to resume our training center project soon. We will have a special giving towards this project next month on 12th April. You can give through pay bill 939-400 and account number Mjengo. the joy of inviting you to our annual partners reception of 2024. This gathering shall happen on Friday 12th April 2024 from 8 to 9 p.m. via Zoom. The meeting shall seek to bring together ministry partners, staff, apprentices and placement leaders for fellowship and to share our ministry story for the past year. We aim to mobilize resources for the training center project and pray for the work of ISAV Africa. The Zoom link for the meeting shall be shared towards the close of the date. To register, 
Check out the link shared with this video. Thank you for being part of our developing story and for listening to our news month on month. The work of I Serve Africa is supported by the generous giving of friends and partners. We invite you to consider making a gift today through M-Pesa pay bill number 939400 and account number is I Serve Africa. It is also possible to run a card on our website at www.isofafrica.org to support this gospel cause.